Service has resumed on the Taichung Metro after its deadly accident on Wednesday. A train had crashed into a construction crane's boom, killing one passenger and injuring 10 others. The accident paralyzed the section of track stretching from Taichung City Hall to Zhou Zhangli Station. After 18 hours of repairs, a 250-person crew restored service at 6 in the morning on Thursday. City and central government have issued stiff fines on the construction company involved, amounting to a total of 1.1 million NT. Taichung MRT executives observed a moment of silence for the victims of Wednesday's accident, which left one dead and ten injured. The crash left passengers terrified and shut down service on the Green Line. A 250-person crew completed repairs lasting 18 hours. At 4 in the morning on Thursday, the damaged train, which had derailed in the accident, was towed away from the tracks. Following careful inspections of the tracks and electrical equipment, engineers gave the all clear by 5 a.m. The operation was completed roughly at 4.30 a.m. today. After that, we did some dynamic testing to confirm that trains could travel safely. We announced that trains would resume at 6 o'clock. According to preliminary estimates, the accident affected 20,000 passengers. Officials have suspended work at the crane's construction site, citing the severity of the injuries and loss of life. The city government and labor ministry have both hit the construction firm with heavy penalties. The city wrote an 810,000 NT fine for violating the Building Act, while the labor ministry imposed 300,000 NT for a total of 1.11 million NT. Further penalties will be determined based on the findings of an ongoing investigation. The Taichung MRT plans to seek full compensation from the construction firm. We will certainly seek compensation from the company in question. Based on our preliminary estimate, the amount of compensation will be over 200 million NT. On Wednesday night, police summoned eight contractors for questioning, including one surnamed Tsai. They are being investigated by the Taichung District Prosecutor's Office for causing serious injury, negligent homicide and offenses against public safety.